hands of the officers and of Frazier. Please help me. Help me. They delivered their message in loudspeaker language. Did you murder my brother? Family, friends, and supporters of Joe Frazier Jr. outside the Wyoming Police Department raising their voices and questions. I want this thing out here because we need to see the video. We need to see everything. They want police to release the body cam from the officers. That videotape is so important, so I know in my heart if my brother was right and wrong. And if they was wrong, boy, this city needs to pay. Now, new information about how the incident began with this call to police about a nearby apartment. That's supposed to be vacant, but I'm seeing people walking around it and doing maybe suspicious things at a late hour that maybe somebody should come out and check it out. There was no burglary. Joe Frazier Jr., along with some family members, were there to clear out the apartment rented by his grandmother, who died recently. But when officers arrived, Frazier and his father took off. Frazier got into a van. Police contend it was used as a weapon. The officers fired four shots at the minivan as the minivan was accelerating towards them. Now, some possible context as to why Frazier didn't want an encounter with police. December 21st, Covington police attempted to stop Frazier after they were alerted his vehicle could be in the area and that he had warrants. Cruiser cut to chase at 275 as he hit speeds of 100 miles an hour. But for Frazier's family, my brother was stolen from me. None of it changes what happened early Monday morning in their effort to see the body camera of the police who were there. Yeah, now Frazier's family tells us that his organs were donated and that his third child was born just hours before he died. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. So, Brian, explain to everyone how did police know to be on the lookout for Frazier back in December? Well, police say Frazier was at a Turfway and that he used an ID that triggered some sort of an alert. That went out to police around the region. Covington police were first to, to spot him. Now, that alert was tied to a warrant out of Dearborn County that was on a battery case. Cherie? All right, Brian Hamrick reporting live for us. Brian, thanks so much for the update. Well, quite the light show.